Let's simplify the fraction 10 sevenths. And here's how we do it. We want to find another fraction that's equivalent, has the same value as 10 over 7, just that we've simplified or reduced it down to its lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes in both 10 and 7. But when I look at 10 and 7, the only factor that goes into both 10 and 7 is 1. We divide 10 by 1, we get 10. And if we divide 7 by 1, we get 7. So that's what we started with. What that means is that the fraction 10 sevenths, we can't reduce or simplify it any further. It's already simplified. Note that 10 sevenths is an improper fraction. That's because the numerator here is larger than the denominator. So we could change it to a mixed number. Let's do that. So 7 goes into 10 one time. 1 times 7, that's 7, and we'd have 3 left over. Bring the denominator across. We have the improper fraction 10 sevenths. That equals the mixed number 1 and 3 sevenths. You can check that too. 1 times 7, that's 7. 7 plus 3, that gives us the 10. We keep the denominator the same. But back to our original question, the fraction 10 sevenths, we can't reduce this any further. It's already in lowest terms. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.